Doreen was born a normal child, but at the age of three months, she got an illness that left her crippled and paralyzed on the left side of her body. In 2013, Doreen received a wheelchair from Toral District Union of Persons with Disability to aid her movement. Apparently, Doreen uses this wheelchair to go to the church, hospital, all visit in the neighborhood. For her daily routine, Doreen crawls without any mobility aid. Can you briefly explain to me the kind of services you give to Doreen to enable her access to water? You come here to be a mother. When she wants drinking water, we get it and take it to her, then she drinks it. If she wants water for bathing, we draw it for her, take it to the bathroom, and we bathe her. If there is no water at home, we go to the well and collect more water that she will use. Then we draw it for her, and she uses it to brush her teeth or anything else. The used water collects in a basin and is poured away. And how does she access the latrine? If she wants to go to the latrine, she crawls over by herself and sits on the hall. We have placed papers there which she picks and cleans herself. After, she dresses herself and crawls back. Apparently, Doreen uses the same toilet facility like everyone at home. However, this is now full and she cannot really use it. The father digs for her holes, what we call cut method. She goes, eases her soap, and then the hole is covered. And I'm told Doreen is about 19 years. How does she manage her menstruation periods? When her menstruation period comes, Doreen informs her mother, who then buys the sanitary pads. Doreen uses the sanitary pads with the help of her mother. We've seen Doreen and many other people outside there are as vulnerable as her or even worse. Do you think there is anything we can do as a government, as stakeholders, to help such people access water, hygiene and sanitation with minimum support?